here at Arbor Park, Slough have lost six of the last seven games, haven't won since mid-September, so that will have to change today if they're going to extract three points. Uh, both teams at the tunnel and both wearing their away kits, just like on Boxing Day, in support of Shelter's No Home campaign. So Slough in that silver and grey, and uh, Oxford City in that orange and black. Uh, players just shaking hands now, and we're going to get underway very soon. Patient play there, build up and that's Reese Fleet just plays it to his midfield partner Josh Ashby and gets it back. Here's Andre Burley, ostensibly centre back, but looking like he's playing right back today. Forward for William Bushel down the right, causing problems. Deflected cross and then a shot and a big shot as well, but a brick save by Reese Forster. It was Josh Ashby arriving on the scene, fired it on the volley from close range, but the slough keeper punts it out and it's clear for a corner. Isia Fantano, um, the name I'm struggling with, he's also on the bench, he's their second top scorer, so that's something for Slough to worry about in the second half. Gabe Jules from Ogaobi, he's got a bit of space, edge of the box, tries to curl it, and across came Lewis Mikio to deflect that wide. Not sure if it was on target, but well, Slough have their first corner. I didn't feel like it was on target, to be honest with you, he needed to make sure because of course that was uh, very close to uh, going towards that far right corner as well. Corner for Slough then. That's Aaron Cole and Luke Woodhouse just lingering on the edge of the box. Every Oxford player is back. It headed out quite comfortably. Falls to Aaron Cole. Back up wide to Matt Lynch, who's the corner kick taker. Comes onto his left foot, drills it at the keeper. And it's the first real effort the Slav had. Uh, comfortable save though for Dzinski. 0-0. So looking to at least match what they did last oh, season they finished fifth. Touch. Great touch by Obi. Johnny Goddard's going to play in a Benyon. Benyon into the box, leaves it for Obi. And the shot took a big deflection and fell kindly into the gloves of Ben Dzinski. Josh Parker's going to try and get onto his low ball, but really well done. Over on the far side, Slough looking very stable in defence today. One big chance, so well, just as I say that, Reese Taylor's Reese Force is giving it away. And McEachern gets a shot away, blocked. Parker gets a shot away, blocked. Reese Forster making up for his mistake, gave it away to um, McEachern, and he's had to make two saves there. He's on the ball again. This time he clears his lines, but gives it away really on the halfway line to uh, Fleet. He needs to clear his head and just forget these little uh, mistakes he's making now. Forward they come. And that's uh, McEachern trying to get free. Tackled by Togo, and Oxford City have a penalty. Lee Togo catching Zach McEachern in the box. So Josh Parker, born in Slough, now standing over the ball at Arbor Park. A chance to give Oxford the lead. Good run up. Low down to Reese Forster's right. He went the wrong way. Oxford City have the lead, and it's Josh Parker to score. And the away fans making some noise. Oxford out for revenge for Boxing Day. But it was Zach McEachern that took the foul for the penalty. McEachern now two goals against Slough and winning a penalty today. Aaron Cole wins the ball back. Finds Ogo Obi. Slough coming forward slowly. Ogo Obi just evading his man. In the box. No! And he shoots against the side netting. So just, as a, just off topic as well. I'm just looking again to my right where I see uh, Neil Baker and John. Underwood has uh, Obi now Oh, almost found. His teammate might steal. Gabe George in the box. Shot by Goddard. It's blocked. And it's out for a corner. Great little break there from Slough. Matt Lynch with the cross in. Fell nicely for Luke Woodhouse. But he's just uh, knocked it over the bar. Both teams in their away kit. Uh, supporting Shelter's no home campaign. Ball comes down the right for Andre Burley. Making his way forward. Good cross. Went all the way across the front post. Away by Scott Davis. McEachern heads it down, McEachern gets it back, McEachern fires it wide. And Davis goes back to Reese Taylor. Reese, Reese Taylor? Reese Taylor. Forster. That's the second time I've done that. <laughs> Reese Forster, giving away here. They're coming forward now. Ooh, he's in here. It's 2 0. It is 2 0. Slough just lost their focus for half a second. 
scored. Davis made a late dive to try and win the ball. But the goal scorer, Mr. Alfie Potter, got in and tucked into the bottom corner. And we spoke in the first half about early second half goals yep. conceded. Uh, I, the theme of last season, it's happened today. I think I feel like I might have accidentally foreshadowed it very slightly there. <laughs> Oh no, Slough oh. giving away in the box. And that's McEachern just lost his footing. That's a big chance. Another error there from Slab. Slab one defender lost the ball temporarily. Ox is back on the ball now. McEachern coming down the left. Now Lewis Coyle near the corner flag. Back to McEachern. Must have had more touches of the ball than any other Oxford player today. McEachern to Coyle to Ashby. Patient stuff. And Ashby's strange shot was floating towards the top corner and uh, Reese Foster makes an unusual save as he almost slaps at the ball and puts out for a corner. Oh! Just over the bar at the near post. And Oxford will feel like they should have been three-knot because Kenneth Carroll heads it on and there's a... Number three, that was uh, Lewis Mikio with the header over the bar from close range. 20 minutes to go. Taken short. Taken quickly. Shooting opportunity here. Oh, but fired over. Matt Lynch. I've actually, I'm just looking at the uh, the match stats that I've got in front of me. I've, I've only got lobbed one off off target shot from Slough in the second half so far. I am guessing none on target. None on target. Yeah, that's I say. That's all that there is. Just one one shot off target from Slough in the second half. It is incredible, Slough. You wouldn't know it, but they were looking for the most part like the best side in some ways in that first half. Yeah, it was, the same it, was, magic. it was back and forth, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a good game, but I don't know, it's just the mixture of that, that early second half goal and Aaron Cole's injury that really killed the game off, really, for Slough. So I've got it back, here's, here's um, Shentoff! Oh, he scored! Yes, <laughs> <Yusuf> Shentoff! <laughs> from about 25 yards! With a brilliant effort! The keeper could have done better, but it's in, and Slough have a goal back! 1-2! Wow. Where's out, that come from? Out of nowhere. I, I don't know, do I put that down as a shot on target? Because I'm sure it did clip the crossbar, didn't it? Yeah, but I, think it's good. I think it's good. Yeah, keep it up, only tip up to the crossbar. I think at the minute, if I have to give an overall round of the match, it probably would be Canis Carroll. He's been a pretty much solid the entire game. Every ball that's come in the box, he's been there. He's there again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oxford back on the ball. Zach McCracken's also been very good today. Here's the sub, Lolos. He spins away from Jackman, coming at Togwell. Yeah. Gets past Togwell. He's about 30 yards out, he goes for goal! And that shot was dipping from Lolos, but it's just over Reese Force's bar. It's a good effort there, Lolos. All but two men in the box for Slough. Lynch, good corner, headed away by Burley. Back in by Togwell, and now again, I think that might have been Burley again. Comes back out wide to Lynch. Could this be the moment as Lynch puts it in? But it's headed away at the near post. Falls for Goddard. Uh, Walsh, the new man, gets out to Lynch. That's a really good cross. Yes! 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 There's the goal you wanted. There's the goal you needed. So might have a point. Give Kayani. Amazing. Kayani with the late winner against Hampton and Richmond in September. And he's got a late equaliser today. And there's still time left. You could feel it around the ground. You, you could sense something was going to happen here. And I love the fact it's Imran Kohani again. He absolutely deserves this. Little uh, spell of form again. And Slough back in it. This is unbelievable. And Slough going to take their time. They're going to settle for their, their point. Yeah, we're just ticking now towards the fourth minute mark. And uh, like I said earlier, four minutes were given. I'm sure that the referee is going to allow maybe another minute, maybe a minute and a half. Before playing for full time, he's not. But he hasn't. No. Wow. There it is. What game to start off the new year? Slough two 0 down with 15 to go, but then a comeback from absolutely nowhere means they're going to take a point. Yusuf Shentoff with a brilliant long range effort, his first goal for the club, and Imran Kayani with another crucial goal, his second against Oxford in the space of two games. Great game this one. Two two.